Okay, I'm going to show you something really neat. Now there is a product out there that is kind of similar to this, and it's kind of expensive. Um, however, photographers have been using something like this for some time, and I thought up a really, really easy way. Check the download link below for it, and uh, we're going to, uh, now that you got color calibration hopefully out of the way, what about something for uh, checking your midtones? Um, bringing the correct exposure and your dynamic range into place um, for a product shot, outdoor wedding shot, receptions, uh, indoor uh, church shots for weddings, uh, outdoor portraiture shots. Really, really simple. Check the link below. It's going to look like two of these squares. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to cut them out to where they look like this. Okay. Now it's a Microsoft Word document. So what you're going to do is just cut out the white end out here. So you're going to have a cube like this. It's basically split down the middle. This is 18% gray, and this of course is white. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over like this. Okay, take a look how I folded it. Okay, like this. All right. See the top. See the bottom. Okay. Now what you're going to do is say. Now, I'm going to turn off my lighting over here to give you a correct example of, say, speed light, or the sun, or, uh, you know, whatever sort of indoor chapel or ambient lighting that I've got here. So that way you can see it in the camera. Okay? Now I'm making sure I'm pointing this correctly into the camera. You're shooting over there where the camera's shooting right now. Uh, both of these are 18% gray. Obviously, it's my specular. Over here, my shadow. In uh, Lightroom, in Photoshop, I can just prop this up anywhere in a test shot in the scene, prop it up, and check my diffuse values, check my specular, check my shadow, so that I can actually set the correct... If you're using Lightroom already, I shouldn't have to explain any of the stuff on how to uh, check your dynamic range and you know set, you know, set your uh, picture settings um, for the correct exposure. This makes things a lot easier. Set it up like a TP. Specular, diffuse, shadow. You can actually, it'll work this way also. You can just throw it down on the ground. Doesn't matter as long as you have one side into, uh, into your light source and another side on your diffuse. This way you can actually uh, check your values in Lightroom, uh, set the parameter for what the shot is on all consecutive shots at that location with that same lighting, and it just makes things easier on yourself. Now there's another device out there that's like this, and it's a little bit different, and it costs $50, I believe it does. And uh, that's a little ridiculous. This is completely free. Yeah, this looks kind of goofy. Well, it's not. Well, sure it is. No, it's not. I like making... I Fat people are lazy. Okay? I, I love doing... Th I don't believe in hard work. I believe in working smarter, not harder. Why should I have to fuss around and guesstimate? Well, I'm going to make a choice on compositional uh, decision on uh, how I uh, set the dynamic range and what I uh, set my sliders for on my shadow and my diffuse, my midtones, and my highlights in Lightroom that's going to be aesthetically pleasing to me. Okay. What about the skin tones? What about that? What about just worrying about getting the correct lighting the correct composition, and then going off an 18% card, specular and shadow, and then setting that so you get the exact correct skin tone. If you want to change things and radically change someone's skin tone, you want to change, uh, you know, the histogram of how the shot comes out. Later, you know, that's that's your artistic choice. But how about you set this value correct first? And once you set the correct value, then everything else you do after that is your own compositional choice in Lightroom, in Photoshop, in Capture One, or whatever the hell it is you use. Work off a correct baseline. If you're importing all your pictures into Lightroom and you're just going back and forth, hither and thither, where's the baseline at? Why don't you set the correct baseline for the skin tones, for the specular, for what's being clipped, for the shadows, and then you change what the hell you want. You set this as your set value for each shot with the exact same amount of lighting. Then you work off of that. Okay? Don't make things hard. Make things easy. I don't believe in hard work. I believe in easy work. So, anyway, use it or don't use it is totally free. But it does work. It makes things easier. 
you only have to do is drop it into one shot. If you're in a wedding chapel, you want to get the right, uh, get the right tones, drop one. Take a shot or two before the wedding starts. Okay? Click on this in Lightroom. Set your correct baseline. Then you can adjust your sliders from there and do whatever the hell sort of crazy stuff you want, as is your artistic purview. But get the correct baseline, right? What's wrong with that? Smart. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.